Have you ever thought to yourself, I love Baldur's Gate 3. It is the greatest game of all time, but I wish I could skip all the story and focus on the fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Regents Plays YouTube channel. Today, Regents Plays Baldur's Gate 3, a roguelike adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an amazing mod installed, which I will link down in the description down below. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say, this is my favorite game of all time. If you've never played Baldur's Gate 3 before, play the full game first. The story, the dialogue, the music, the characters are all absolutely fantastic. It was a life-changing experience. But however, if you've played the game and you've loved the game and you want to play more, this mod focuses on none of the story and all of the fighting. It kind of makes it like a Pokey Rogue adventure, ladies and gentlemen, where you're going level after level, wave after wave of enemies, trying to level up and get as far as you can. Think Pokey Rogue, but in Baldur's Gate 3. As you level up, you get stronger and stronger, and you try to take on more and more enemies, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, as always in Baldur's Gate 3, you have to create your character. Ladies and gentlemen, I do also have some modded classes. I'm working on some more mods to go into it. I'm going to do a full modded playthrough on this channel. My last one got corrupted, so I'm going to do another full modded playthrough in the coming months on this channel. But for today, we're just focusing on fighting. We're just focusing on the roguelike -like experience. So I'm going to click randomize three times, and that will be our character, ladies and gentlemen. Gith Yankee Sorcerer. I kind of want to be one of the new classes. I'm going to randomize until we get one of... There we go. Artificer. Actually, what I'm going to do, one, two, three. That's going to be what our character looks like. We are an Asian woman with blue hair and a blue beard. However, I want to be a vanguard. I want to be a vanguard because it's a new rate. It's a new class. I've never been before. We're going to be a human. Human vanguard. We get three cantrips. We have good intelligence for our cantrips. What should we go for? I'm going to go firebolt. You never know when you might need it. Oh, I like Sword Burst. Thunderclap is good. I should get one that affects the world around them. Again, we don't know what we're going to need because we don't know who we're fighting against is the thing. We get two level one spells. Searing sm oh, I like Thunder Wave, but you have to be close for Thunder Wave. I'm going to take Thunder Wave, though, because I really, really do like it. Background, we have Noble, and there are our abilities, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I'll be called Tav, that's fine. Our Guardian, again, I don't really think even matters. Can we randomize? Randomize appearance, randomize appearance, randomize appearance. There we go. So you click on Venture Forth. Again, there's no story, so you can skip all of this introduction phase. We're we'll getting to the action. We want to get into the fighting. I might make more than one video on this, by the way, because it looks awesome based on what I've seen so far. So you start the game like normal, and it says, Welcome to Trials of Tav. If this comes up, that means you've installed it correctly. If it doesn't come up, you have not. Click on Yes. And it will say, play roguelike mode. Continuously create new battles. You will gain a higher score with every completed fight. Difficulty increases with the score. We're going to click on yes. And we're going to go to camp. So it will transport you back to your base, ladies and gentlemen. Every time you leave your camp, that's when you go to the next level. Up here, you can see Trials of Tav. If you click on this, you can see what's happening. So, scenario is roguelike. You can see your roguelike score, your round, total rounds, upcoming spawns, etc., etc. You can see how many you killed as well. You can go to camp, next round, stop, etc. So, if you click on unlocks, currency owned zero, rogue score zero, you can unlock different stuff as you go. So, for instance, you can unlock a Rolu, uh, different spells, different weapons, and stuff like that. You can also edit your config, uh, what loot you get, and your extras and stuff like that, ladies and gentlemen. So, first things first, we need a party with us. So, we're going to talk to Withers, and we're going to get some hirelings. I would like to talk about hirelings. Recruit a hireling. Thank you very, very much. So, you have all these hirelings. Again, you can get modded hirelings as well, but I wanted to keep it simple for the roguelike experience. Um, so, who do, we already have intelligence. We need we need a fighter. We need, like, a paladin. Uh, they are a fighter, monk, or paladin. I want Kurz, so I'm going to go... Can we edit? What can we edit? Just his face and stuff like that? Okay. I want Kurz. I'm going to take you. I'm going to talk to Withers again. I'm going to go for a cleric. Potentially a healer on our team. Oh, sorcerer, right? Wild magic. That will be a lot of fun. I don't know if I have the mod on where I can have more than four people. No, I don't have that mod on. So we are stuck to four people. This is our party. I like the look of it, though. So you start off with all this basic weaponry and stuff like that. You click on leave camp. And the adventure begins. Let's see who our first enemy is going to be. So you spawn in. You don't know where they're going to be. We can... Get our starting positions. 
you can hang back because you can push forward. I'm hoping they spawn up there. You click and turn or exit turn based mode. There we go. Oh, it spawned behind us. Magna, uh, Magma method. So they spawn anywhere. It, um, the map changes every time. It starts with one opponent. You slowly get bigger and better, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Magic missile. It's out of range. Right, let's just move up and get into position for now. You can actually... You can dash and you can move up a little bit further. So it aggro's on us. There we go. Oh my god, a heat metal. He used it on the mace, so he dropped it. Why is he equipping the the javelin instead of the warhammer? Get the warhammer on. That's stronger. All right, magic missile. One, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. And that is the first one. Whoa, perfect score. Double your score from five to ten. Yes, please. Vampiric gloves and mashed potatoes. I accidentally drank a potion, which I was not meant to do. I meant to throw the potion, and it was too late. I wasted the potion, and now I have to wa waste a scroll of revive. Not a good start, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good start at all. You go back to your camp. So we got vampiric gloves. So you get vampiric touch, a level three necromancer spell. I also got this. You no longer cast... Oh, it's a spell. Oh, so it's... Okay, I don't really know what it does, but... Sure thing. Then what you do, you click leave camp, and you go into the next round. So it's basically like that, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new map every time. It's a new wave of opponents every time. It's a lot of fun. If you just like the combat in Baldur's Gate 3. It's really, really cool. Not knowing who's going to come, what's going to come. There are two of them. We have a hyena... And a goblin booyag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. They are both down below us right now. We're going to go over here. Get a guiding bolt on you. Oh, of course we miss. Why would we not miss? Where is this hyena? On my way. We're going to dash right up to him. Can we jump down there next to him? There we go. And we also get an attack. Six damage has been made. Of course, if you start with four people in your party, it will start easier... Since you only fight one or two opponents. But of course, as the time goes on, it gets more and more difficult. You can also, if you want to make it really hard, I guess you can always just start with one one person in your party. If you want to make it even more difficult. Right, this guy's going to get a chance to go. He made it all oily around us. I don't know if you get your spells back after every time you go to camp or if you have to rest. I'm not sure how the spells work. There's a six damage. Light on my feet. We'll go through with a firebolt of our own. Oh, of course, a critical miss. We get another go, though. Critical miss. Goodness gracious me, not ideal. Right, we're going to dash. Try to get out. Oh, it's double movement because it's grease. Oh, and he's slipping. Oh, my goodness. Ray of sickness. Our tough goes down in one bloody hit, ladies and gentlemen. Like I told you, it's tough. It's not an easy... I mean, it's not meant to be easy, to be fair. Throw a potion to get her up. We can't attack from here, but that's fine. Don't slip, don't slip. Nice. Uh, what health are you on? 10 health. Let's go for a fire. Oh, you can't reach her from there, can you? Oh, I didn't pick up his weapon. I just realized this guy's not got a weapon. Because I didn't pick it up. Oh, what a silly man. I forgot to pick up his wet well. Well, that's not ideal. Magic missile. Down on him. There we go. Lovely stuff. Exterminators. Oh, wow. come on. Do we automatically get this if we don't pick them up in time? Exterminators. Axe. Did we pick up both? We picked up both. Okay, good. We also leveled up, which is very nice. Right, go to camp. And let's see what we got. Exterminate. Oh, my goodness. See, that's why you can get anything, ladies and gentlemen. You can get anything. You don't know what you're going to get. 5 to 21. He's not proficient. He's not proficient. So we can use this, but we all... Oh, we'll take that. I don't really know what this does. This one possible... Uh... Promising loyal friends and stout allies. I've never really seen... We have two legendary things. I don't really know what they do, but... We'll hold on to them for now. And we will level up. 
Level 2 Vanguard. Vanguard looks like a fun class, dude. I might use this one in our upcoming playthrough. Thank you very much. Level 2 Paladin. Oh my goodness. He gets a fighting style. Level 2 Sorcerer. Sorcerer is always a fun one to play. Really, really fun. You get one spell. I do like a bit of Fog Cloud. Oh, some new spells in there as well. Crashing Wave. Lightning Tendril. Thunder Punch. Charge Arnold's in the Oh, there are some fun ones that I've never seen before. Entomb. I kind of want to see Crashing Wave. Hurl a massive chaotic energy that randomly di Yes, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Anything chaotic or random, I'm all about it, ladies and gentlemen. Level 2 Cleric. Be nice if you can start healing us a little bit more. Right, Guiding Bolt is good. Let's get some heals going. Right, are we all good? We've leveled up, so we have most of our health. Let's go... Wait, the, uh, he doesn't have a weapon, actually, does he? No. Is there a weapon he can use? Trident. He can use a javelin. I mean, he's going to be staying back anyway, most likely, but we'll give him that for now, and we'll leave camp. Oh, a lot of fire. I hate this map. When, <laughs> when you're surrounded by fire. The thing is, where are they going to spawn? Are they going to spawn up here? But I, I don't really want to go that way, and then they don't spawn there, you know? Let's exit turn-based mode. Oh, God. Oh, God, a Shadow Creeper, a Blue Jay, and a Phase Spike. This is what I'm saying. You never know what you're going to fight, and that's why I love it. You never know what you're going to fight. Oh, don't put him into the fight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, we need to get rid of this. ASAP. Of course, you bloody miss. Oh, no. Healing word. Can I... He but... He's going to be in the fire, though. Can I move him? Does he survive in that fire? Get out of there. Oh, he's melting. He's no longer melting. Take a potion, lad. Goodness gracious me. Right, not the best start. They have a blue jay, which I don't even know. Can a blue jay even attack you? This is what I love. It's all randomized. And again, you guys know I absolutely love me some randomness in video games. I really, really do. Right, let's keep it simple with a firebolt. I don't want to use too many of our spells early doors. We have a big axe. We can't even get over to them. This little spider link. Is that going to phase over? Yeah, there it is. Right, he missed. Let's just beat the hell out of it. Oh. Let's just beat the hell out of it. There we go. <laughs> right, where's this blue jay? Oh, I feel really bad. Attacking it. It looks so cute. Attack of opportunity. Aww. Perfect score, thank you. Just not needed. Elixir of Heroism. Do we take everything? No. Your rogue score, your currency increased. Okay. Let's go back to camp and see what we got. Intellect Devourer Cerebellum. Right. Scroll Fog of Cloud. Very nice. I'll give that to you. I might give this to you as well, actually. Can I give something to you? No, okay. Well, it said we also unlocked some upcoming spawns. Three. Oh, killed. I think that's like deaths, it means. Roguelike score. Go to camp next round. We'll forward one round. Use when fight gets... Okay. Teleport. Ping spawns. So, currency owned 24. Roguelike score 24. Uh, 40 camp supplies. Fully restored character. Most of them cost quite... Okay, I'm not going to get anything just now. Leave camp to join battle. Oh, I don't know what that meant. Okay. Let's leave camp again. I don't really know what stop meant then. Give us no fire. Ooh! The Dread Hollow. Right, you go over there. Well, they should probably move before I end the turn. That's me being impatient. I just want to spread out just a little bit. Because we don't know what's coming. Another hyena. Two hyenas. Okay. That's doable. That's very, very doable. Guiding Bolt. Early doors on you. We don't have to use too many of our spells for now. So you can just chill. Get a Firebolt on this one. We'll let him come to us, you know. We'll let him come to us. Another Firebolt. Four damage. Now the Hyena comes across. 
The bite is going to miss, which is lovely. Oh, there's a goblin there as well. There's a goblin there as well. We can't get an attack here. Let's dash forward. Uh, you can go for the goblin. You can go for another fireball. Critical hit. Easy peasy. We didn't even get to use this axe yet. Fireball one damage. Oh. Wood woad. Oh, more stuff is spawning. More stuff in level six? Is this because I click stop? Is this not roguelike? It, like, am I, did I change the mode? I don't really know. I'm kind of nervous now. Never a dull moment. Curse attack. Four damage. Survival is all that matters. You get a fireball on you. Nice. Best be on my way. One enemy left. Okay, one enemy left. Good. I don't know if I like changed the mode or not, but I think we're good. Fireball missed. Fireball should be super effective against this guy. There we go. Level six is crazy. We're only level two. Again. Can we get up to it? It has 18 AC. No wonder we're missing everything, dude. In ta oh my goodness. 20%. Oh, we still got 18 damage. Right, don't go into the entanglement. Can I can we bless? One, two. Bless yourself as well. Uh, we can't move at all, can we? Right, let's just go for that. There we go. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Oh, loot, baby. Five items received. There we go. Lovely, bubbly. Good job, team. Arrow of fire. We don't have any bows for anyone. Ooh. Good armor. Can any of these guys use this? Because we need them to get better weapons. You can. That's better than your weapons, so use that. Put a helmet on, you know, because why not? Hyena ear. Potion of supreme healing. My goodness gracious me. Can you use shields to improve your AC? Let's go again. We're going to keep going for it. We're back at the grotto. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Our little brain man. Oh, these guys can actually be quite strong. Dawn burst strike. Radiance of the dawn. The sun's divine power. Dispels any magical dark. Oh my goodness gracious me. Dawn burst strike. You've got to be close to them for that. Let's go for a fireball first. Critical hit is very nice. The brain. Now, brains can be very strong. Good miss, though. He has a shield now. This is very nice. I don't know when more spawn in. If it's a set time or not. Oh, we have no spa. Ah. Yeah, so we do also have to long rest. Good to know. Good to know. We have to long rest when we're at camp. Can you get an attack off? You can indeed. It's going to miss. Get another attack off. 70%. You can't miss both of them, dude. Uh, right, that's going to be an attack of opportunity, but that's fine. Uh, protection. Do not react. Critical miss. Right, we're going to go for a Dawn Burst Strike on you. And of course you miss. Tenacity. You have one bludgeoning damage anyway. Not ideal. I'll be honest with you. Good miss. Right, you come in. Poke this brain in the bum. Critical hit, baby. Doesn't get it done, unfortunately. That will. Does fire even hurt them? Eight damage. There we go. More stuff is going to spawn, though. Which you have to be careful of. Heart stopper. Missed. I mean, might as well get one bludgeoning damage. It's not great, but it's something. We need to get rid of this guy before more stuff is spawning. Smearing smite. Critical miss. We're missing a lot right now. Create spell slot. There we go. Magic missile, that guy. Nice. Big damage. Very, very big damage indeed. Attack of opportunity. Thank you very much. Claws critical miss. And a miss. We finally get to use our amazing axe. Six damage. Is very, very nice. Hyena has spawned. We'll sneak in this way. Of course you miss. Where is this hyena? Up there. Right, you can start making your way back up this way then. Getting ready for the hyena. Can't get a fireball. Oh, you can! There we go. You have low ground. We'll take two damage. And hopefully kill this guy. Nice. Level up, baby! That's what I'm talking about. See, there's no story. There's no, you know, 
dialogue or anything like that. It's all focused on the fighting, ladies and gentlemen. And it's actually really fun. Obold spawned up there as well. Okay, so we're going to dash up this way. Make our way a little bit closer. Firebolt can connect, but it's going to miss. Dissonant Whispers on the Kobold. Seven damage. I'll go for Dissonant Whispers again. Ten damage. Beautiful stuff. Need to find a way forward. This guy's more of a close quarters kind of guy. Luckily, he can move a lot. Oh, but he always misses, though. Double miss. Right, Hyena gets a go. Bites on Kurz. We might as well go to Kurz. Searing Smite. Nice. Good damage. Breathing despite everything. Uh, we can't quite get up there. Radiance of the Dawn. Kind of want to use this just to use it. Nice, dude. That was awesome. Double your score. Oh! We got some stuff. We got some stuff. Yes, we did. Right, we got a ring. You got a ring for you. Harness charm. We also got some boots. Nothing eye. Yeah. Got some cool stuff. We get another level up as well. Vanguard level three. Oh, we got a subclass now. Oh my god, you get so much stuff at Vanguard level three. Elementalist. Elementalist seek to empower their weapons and ability with acid cold. Ooh. Blink bonded. Oh my god. Blink dog. Shadow adept. Shadow rift. Born in the dark. This one sounds really cool. I mean, elementalist sounds cool because you get all of these. I kind of like blink bonded though. I want to get a little doggy. Who's up next? My paladin brother. Mr. Kurz himself. Level three paladin. Right, everyone's level three, ladies and gentlemen. We have a rogue sort of 38. So far, I kind of want to buy something just to see what it looks like when you buy it. So what do you buy? We buy it with a currency, I'm guessing, right? Tadlock, uh, I like randomness. Let's buy a, a roll loot times 10. Also, it just gives you... Oh! It just gives you pizza. We got pizza. It just gives you 10 random items. Oh, I love the randomness of that. I really love the randomness of that indeed. Oh, we actually got a, a crossbow. You got a drum if you're a bard. Gloves. So now we've used that. We only have 38 left. Oh, that is awesome, dude. You can break or restore your oath. You can get a weapon. You can... Oh, my God. So restore full character. Does that like restore? So if I do fully restore character and I do... Who is this? Fully restore character, Jocelyn. It restores everything. All your hit points, your spell. <gasps> yeah. This is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave this one here for now. But, mate, I highly, highly, highly recommend testing out this mod. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. It is a lot of fun. I'll probably do more videos on it. And, again, I'm going to do a full Let's Play on this game as well. So, keep an eye out for that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you in the next one. Much as always, take care and happy gaming.